Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 235. That is, what is a web server? And give any examples of the web servers. Let me answer. So what exactly is a web server? Okay, so web server is a combination of hardware and software. Take any website guys, okay, take any website. For example, if you take my website, that is qfox.com website, okay? Let, let me take my website. So when I when I browse qfox.com, I'm getting the web page of the qfox.com. How this is possible? Without web servers, is it possible to get this kind of information? When I simply type qfox.com in the browser, I'm getting all the information about qfox, okay, website. This is not possible with the help of, okay? Without the help of web servers, this is not possible, guys. So what's happening here is, let's say, this is my laptop, okay? Let's say this is my laptop. So in my laptop, I am opening a browser. It can be as simple as a Chrome browser, okay? It can be as simple as a Chrome browser. In this Chrome browser, I'm opening, I'm just browsing some application URL. It is qfox.com something https colon double slash qfox.com or www.qfox.com something i am browsing the moment i hit enter here what's happening a request is being sent to the server okay the moment i hit enter here a request is being sent to the server here a request is being sent to the server over which protocol over http S protocol, okay, because qfox.com is a secured website, as you can see here, it's secured, okay, it has a certificate installed. So over HTTPS, if uh, there is no certificate installed, if it is not secured, it will be HTTP, okay. So this website is is requesting the server over which protocol? HTTPS. In indirectly, it's nothing but internet, guys, okay. Over the internet, using which protocol? Over the internet, we can have many protocol possibilities. Main protocol is HTTPS, okay. And this request reaches a server, okay? Whose server this is? This is QFox application. Or we can say this is a QFox server, okay? Let's not take uh, application word here. It will confuse. It is a QFox server, okay? So it is a QFox server. So this QFox server is at a remote location. Maybe it may be in Singapore or someplace, okay? Singapore. Let's say, assume that this QFox server is available at Singapore. Whereas this QFox.com, I am browsing in my laptop, which I call just generally, I call this my laptop as a client. And I am from Hyderabad, India, okay? Hyderabad, India. From India, I'm hitting the, this URL, a request is being sent over internet to the QFox server. Okay, all the programming logic of this qfox.com is here. All the files that need to be served when the request comes, uh, this particular qfox web server has to serve some files. Okay, here we have the web server. Okay, web server and content. Content is nothing but the files. It can be HTML, CSS, and all the JavaScript. Everything is here. And some programming logic like uh, uh, any programming logic like uh, written in Java or PHP or Python or something is here. Okay, that is QFox server. The moment this request reaches the server, server will process the request. According to the process means run some code. Okay, according to running the code, okay, as a result of running the code, a response will be sent back to the client. A response will be sent back to the client over the same protocol. That is HTTPS response in this case of example okay that is over internet only over internet only a response will be sent back to this client that is my laptop uh, that is to my browser that is chrome browser okay which is available in hyderabad india and what this response will contain after processing the server will send the http css javascript and some cookies etc etc files whatever the relevant files are there all these things will be sent as a response okay HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will be sent in the response. Who will understand this HTML, CSS, JavaScript? 
okay this browser will understand this browser will understand this html css javascript and cookies and all those stuff and will render the web pages for you so this is a web server okay this is what is a web server guys okay so this is a concept of the web server so but this web server is not at my home okay you have to understand something my laptop is with me okay whenever i want to use this application i'll simply turn turn on my laptop okay and simply hit this domain name that is address with address that is qfox.com and simply a request is being sent to the server which is running 24 by 7 for me but am i maintaining this web server at my home no that is not a good idea so what i did is okay what i did is to make this possible is i purchased this domain guys okay domain name from godaddy okay ufox.com domain i purchased from godaddy and this server i cannot purchase a machine and make it run day and night at my home okay at my home i cannot maintain okay that is not a good idea also so what every website will do is they will purchase a hosting space okay to run uh, to maintain this uh, web server hosting space they will purchase some hosting space who will who will sell you the hosting space there will be a lot of hosting providers guys okay there are a lot of hosting providers for qfox the hosting provider is siteground okay siteground so siteground is there godaddy will also do the hosting the and uh, uh, lot of things are there guys okay lot of hosting providers are there in the cloudways okay uh, hostigator like that many hosting providers are there but i subscribe to siteground not for free i have to pay some amount every month okay so when i pay some amount uh, every month to the siteground siteground will will maintain my server okay all my files related to my application okay and the server okay the software whatever that is required for uh, creating this website right uh, the hardware and software will be provided by the siteground in response to the amount i am paying to them okay and my website will be running 24 by 7 okay my website will be running 24 by 7 because of that reason and this side ground may be maintaining my server that is hardware and so uh, software of the web server in singapore or malaysia or whatever the place they want okay they may keep the backups and all those stuff that is their responsibility i just need to pay some amount so that uh, my website has a web server running okay so this is what is a web server guys okay this is what is a web server so what so let's conclude guys okay so what is a web server it is a combination of hardware and software okay some hardware machine should be there so here guys uh, they will not uh, what for whatever the plan i have taken siteground will not give me the entire machine to me okay in a single machine they will run multiple websites okay so they will allocate some space to me okay they will share the space okay in that space only my application files will be running like that many websites will be there in, they will have very big servers and many it's like sharing hosting providing guys okay i'm i am not still at a uh, private hosting like a separate hosting uh, website i don't have okay but that will cost me a lot okay if i have to uh, if i have to subscribe to a hosting provider who is providing a separate machine for me for running my website okay then that is going to be very 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 costly guys okay so since it is uh, working fine for me i'm i'm uh, I subscribe to the sharing hosting provider from the site ground okay so they will provide me a hardware and software combination to run my application files okay to run my application files of qfox.com and whenever this kind of laptops or mobile devices uh, need some information from my website uh, a request will be sent over the internet and the request will be processed in that server which is hosted by this hosting providers and after processing a response will come back to the client and will get the pages displayed okay so it uses internet to respond to client requests right Inter over internet the communication is happening between the laptop and this web server which is hosted somewhere they over internet that is via http or https protocol it is happening so the web server stores the stores the files process the files okay Pro files or web pages whatever you call delivers these web pages whenever whatever we need for example we need login page who, who will process web server will store the login page will process the login page will deliver the login page in the response and the browser will understand this response and will render the login page for us okay so so if you want to manually okay uh, instead of uh, uh, 
uh, going with this uh, web uh, hosting providers and all if you want to manually set up some web servers in your own computers let's say you have some additional laptop with you and you want to uh, set up your own web servers you can use uh, some examples are there guys okay you can use apache tomcat web server microsoft ias ias stands for internet information service like this some softwares are there you can download and uh, convert your machine into a web server okay okay so that you can do so within your network you can create a server and uh, you can play with that okay i don't want to go deep into this since uh, this particular question asks that uh, not only explain about web server but also give some examples that's the reason i am giving apache tomcat and microsoft ias as the examples guys okay you can create web servers with the help of this apache tomcat and microsoft ias okay fine so hope guys you got the answer for this question so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye